So here I'm going to show you my not so artistic diagram of E. coli as an example of a prokaryote. So if you see them say E. coli, it's just an example of a prokaryotic cell. So here are my arrows and we're going to label them one by one. We will start with the plasma membrane, which is the inside layer. It's inside the cell wall that we'll label in a minute. The cytoplasm is the liquid portion inside the cell that contains the organelles. You have the nucleoid region, which has the genetic material. Ribosomes are the dots for protein synthesis. The cell wall is around the outside. The pili are the short hair-like appendages. And the flagellum is the long appendage. So now we're going to annotate parts of the prokaryotic cell with their functions, starting with the plasma membrane. This is selectively permeable to ions and organic molecules and controls the movement of substances into and out of the cell. The cytoplasm is a site of chemical reactions within the cell. Next we have the nucleoid region, and this is an irregularly shaped region that contains the cell's DNA, usually in the form of a circular double-stranded piece of DNA. The ribosomes, represented by small dots, are used for protein synthesis. The cell wall provides rigidity and strength to give structural support for the cell and prevents overexpansion when water enters the cell. Moving on to pili, these are small hair-like appendages around the outside of the cell that are used for adhesion and transfer of genetic material between bacteria. Finally, the flagellum is a much longer appendage used for locomotion and often as a sensory organelle. 